Less than two hours ago, a fiery meeting between Cleveland City Council and Cleveland School's new CEO, Dr. Warren Morgan, wrapped up. That meeting comes just days after 12 members of City Council sent a letter to Dr. Morgan and Mayor Justin Bibb asking them to return money to a program funding grants for students and educators. 3 News Education Station reporter Danielle Wiggins uh, was at that meeting and joins us now to explain what happened there. Well, Matt, today's meeting comes one day before the school board is expected to vote on the district's plan to address their budget deficit that will grow to $168 million by the end of the 2025-26 school year. This afternoon, Dr. Warren Morgan gave a, br a brief overview of the district's deficit reduction plan that needs to be submitted to the state by Thursday. At issue is the decision to end the Get More Opportunities Fund this year a grant program created under former CMSD CEO Eric Gordon. Now, Gordon announced the program after philanthropist Mackenzie Scott gave the district $20 million in 2022, placing no restrictions on how the money is to be spent. The district allocated $4 million per year to be given out over five years, with students involved in deciding what gets funded. I just can't believe that we're here with our kids and our kids are being penalized, penalized by taking the money that they had for them to do. Some of that money was um, promised to East Tech because we presented it at East Tech and they talked about getting their track room, getting their weight room together. And that was some grants that they were going to apply for. But now it's said the money is gone. And that was Ward 5 Councilman Richard Starr, who says he wore a shirt with the phrase, who's getting fired to the meeting because he's looking at leadership. According to Dr. Morgan, the Get More Opportunities Fund is not gone for good, but it's on pause as the district works through the budget deficit. So far, nearly $3 million of the $20 million gift has been spent. At the meeting, Dr. Morgan also said that when the district went to the school board in November, the wording of a resolution was changed to say that the McKenzie Scott money could be used to supplement their budget concerns. And Matt, coming up at 6, how Dr. Morgan justifies the statement that they didn't take money or that program away from students. Okay, and we we see, we hear city council members all upset about this. Mm -hmm. Does Cleveland City Council have authority over the school district's finances? Matt, they do not, actually. It is uh, the mayor. The city council has really no authority over Cleveland City Schools or CMSD. It's the mayor that does. And so they actually discussed this at the meeting, and it was a little bit of contention there as well. Yeah, yeah, you can understand that. Okay, Danielle Wiggins, live for us in the newsroom. Thank you.